Hello everyone, here we are, again, getting ready to hit the road. We are going over the Sierras to June Lake, which is located just north of Mammoth Lakes. Beautiful town, nice campground, we've been there before. It is about 300 miles journey. Uh, the tundra is ready, hooked up and a nice appearance. Got the decals, the fender flares, and decals on my truck representing the channel. So subscribe, please. Have some merchandise coming up as well. Some nice t-shirts for exercising. We'll have some fun. We'll have some uh, little quests on the give outs and see how it will get away. So I got the bikes in the back and a nice setup, which I will describe later. Also took me a couple times to realize what's better to have the hitch for your devices, either bike holders, ski holders, whatever you carry. Actually, this one is allowed to tow up to three and a half thousand pounds, so you can actually hook up even some sort of small buggy or trailer or even your jet ski. Anyway, so it's about the time to hit the road. Here's a little example of how Tundra performs on a flat surface while towing. And as you can tell, it is 100 degrees outside. The engine and transmission temperature is below half level. We're at 8.4 mpgs and that is due because we had to climb quite a few hills getting up to pass Lancaster and Palmdale through Mojave but now so it's a flat toe doing well cruising no problems going so here is the way Tundra sounds while towing slightly downgrade you can barely hear the engine sort of rolling down, feeling so good, no issues at all, even in this kind of temperatures, as you can tell, the temperature is still way below halfway, and by now, I know that it is the same cooling system that cools the engine, and at about 225 degrees at the transmission, thermostat opens up and it recirculates the same coolant throughout the transmission to cool it down. Good. Yeah? Yep. What are you guys watching? Rocky too. Well, say anything in Rocky. Say anything. Yo, Andrew. Yo, Andrew. <laughs> okay, so run away, keep going. The truck in this tandem is super stable. No wiggling, no swaying of the trailer. And this is the best because the inside of your truck is comfortable, is air conditioned, is quiet, no rattling, no squeaking noises of any sort. So you're driving inside of your truck that you can take anywhere you want. And I'm gonna go up a little grade here. And we are against F-150 How's it going? Good. Yeah? Yeah. So we're halfway through? Yes. You tired? No. How do you feel after race? I'm a little sore, but it's fine. Uh, we covered 160, 170 miles, I forgot exactly. I'm just gonna do a quick check on the truck, a quick check on the trailer, and we'll keep going. It is hot. It is. Are you hot? Lazy. Huh? Lazy. Yeah, it's blazing, especially in the on the pavement. It just radiated you really hot. It's 103 degrees. The doors are closed, so we'll keep going. See you later. Like this is quite nothing for this truck in this tandem. Very easy, very simple. Not even downshifting. Check it out. I'm gonna hold it in this gear. Below 3000 RPMs. 62, 61, 62, 61 miles per hour. And it's holding on. That's 
how great this engine is. It's just so torquey and so strong. Boom. We are in Bishop. We elapsed 255 miles. Four hours and 20 minutes on the road. The temperature, unfortunately, is still at 100 degrees. The MPG improved a bit to 8.7 and that is probably the best we will be able to get today as we're gonna climb up the steepest and the longest grade on this journey. Doing good. Are you still walking, watching Rocky? No, we finished it. What are you watching now? Guardians of the Galaxy. Nice. So So this is probably the toughest test of today. Uh, we're climbing a steep and long grade. Could accelerate a little bit. I think I'm gonna hold it at about 3,000 RPMs and about 40 miles per hour. Some people fly up here. I've seen a lot of accidents and incidents, incidents here with the years, but we know what to do and it's better not to rush when you're doing something like this with about 9,000 pounds on your tail. Well, we made it safe and sound took us five hours and 50 minutes but that was due to the fact that I lost my drone. Uh, everything went well, checked in, no issues whatsoever with the truck, the camper. We're backed in in our spot, the spot is really nice, uh, spot number six at Pine Cliff Resort. I love it here, love the camping, love RVing, towing, anything, whatever goes with it. By the way, John is the gentleman who helped me out to get back to the truck after I located my drone. John, if you're watching this, thank you very much. By the way, remember John because at some point we will come back to what he did today. He helped me a lot for no reason without anything in it. So think about this, remember about this because we're all about doing the right just do the right thing. So he did. Today is going to be a little review of the Pine Cliff RV Resort, which is located off of the Highway 158, which is also known as June Lake Loop, connecting about, I think, four lakes total. Uh, 158 joins with 395 in two spots. Uh, first one for us was Southern, and then at North uh, almost by the Mono Lake, uh, creating this June Lake Loop. Uh, Pine Cliff RV Resort is an older campground. I believe it's about almost 40 years old, so it's actually a cool place. A lot of mature trees uh, creating most of the campsites shaded environment, which for me is very important because this one is located next to the state park and that one is looking to me desolate because it's just wide open so when it's uh, sunny on a sunny day it actually gets quite hot in your uh, rig or in your tent but here we've shaded all the time a uh, huge plus in my opinion there is a convenience store for you if you forgot something always can grab it and becomes quite handy We've been here since 2010, uh, so this is our ninth year. Uh, some years we would come here twice a year, uh, but this year it was only once. And today is a Labor Day weekend, by the way. Uh, a lot to be thankful for in our lives. You know, the opportunities we have here to improve things, to get things better and to be able to work uh, in a lot of countries and a lot of areas it is not as open in terms of opportunities but we are 
in the United States to be thankful for a lot of different things. It's, it's a family-oriented campground and a lot of kids are outside all the time running. There is a basketball court, there is a playground area here, playing catch with your kids, uh, riding bikes, hiking nearby, going down to the lake it takes about five minutes. So that is really, really cool. A lot of places do not have that, even state park, you have to take a longer hike. But here, even though we're a little bit close to each other, but hey, that's how you meet new people. For example, now my kids are playing basketball with the kids they met, uh, some of them this year, and I think there are a couple of kids from the previous journeys we had here that they got connected, and I think it's really cool. Uh, there is a propane fill-up station here, so if you're running low, you can fill up. Um, hiking trails nearby, ATV, off-road trails, uh, cycling as well. As you can tell, if you've been at Mammoth, uh, on the side of each highway and freeway, there is a huge shoulder for cycling. So if you are built up to you know, increase your athletic abilities up in the higher elevations, that's your place to be, so come on over. We actually played basketball today, and you know, it took a lot more energy to play here rather than at home. And I remember the years in the past we came, when the kids were still small, I never felt worried of them going out and riding bikes and playing with different kids. It's quite cool. And we prefer to stay closer to the lake. It's more, uh, I guess it's quieter, uh, closer to the lake, so it's about five minute walk for us. Uh, closer to the hikes, uh, you're not seeing the lake itself, but the mountains surrounding the lake are right here. Uh, like I said, the sides, most of them are shaded with these mature pines. Uh, the smell of the pine is amazing, especially in the mornings. Uh, people who come here, like I said, are also family oriented and follow the rules. It's rarely you see people driving too fast or abusing the rules or stuff could be sometimes you know in and out but again these people work here as they camp and in some cases i've heard some complaints about customer service but you know what uh, have the right expectations and you will have the right return uh, i guess that would be it for now uh, we're gonna be heading home tomorrow uh, hopefully the traffic is not gonna be too heavy and thanks for watching thank you for following uh, this trip with us I hope this review of this trip up to the Sierras was helpful to you again, again about what the tundra can do and what the Pine Cliff Resort is all about I tried to show the beauties of Mammoth Lakes and June Lake Loop it's an amazing area, so come on over and enjoy it. God's creation is beautiful and amazing. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give us a like as well. Come back. We hope to see you again. We'll have more fun videos and reviews of the travel and, of course, this nice Tundra and hopefully some other vehicles that we'll get to work with. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.